Okay, so I'm here today to do a first impression on the new foundation from CoverGirl, the 3-in-1 All Day Flawless Foundation. Everybody has been ranting and raving about it and I really just wanted to see what all the hype was about. This foundation claims to last all day. It has a lasting power of a powder, um, concealer, and it's saying that it has a primer in it as well. I picked up mine in the Queen collection because I couldn't find the right shade in just the regular CoverGirl shade. And I got mine in Amber Glow. So let's see if it lives up to all the hype. Right now, I don't have anything on my face. You know, just did my eyebrows, some chapstick, mascara, that's it. I'm gonna put a pump on my hand. So I like to take a little bit on my finger and I just kind of take it and dab it around my face first. So I'm going to use this flat top brush. Um, this is actually from e.l.f. and it's called a powder brush, but it's a flat top powder brush. I've been using it a lot lately because I've been trying to see if there are any good brushes in the lower end of the spectrum. Anyway, I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to kind of blend it in my face. The color looks like it might be alright, but it might need to adjust a little bit. Definitely a full coverage um, foundation. So this is actually two pumps that I put on. It did a pretty decent job covering up my um, acne scarring and the few that are active right now for two pumps. I'm not sure how I feel about the color just yet. Um, it looks a little beige, but all foundations oxidize throughout the day. So it probably will adjust. I'm gonna take another pump just to put it over the areas that I have a little bit of redness at. Ooh, that can look good go. Over that area. A lot of us have the uh, mustache going on. Now I'm just going to blend it in the same way. But because I already have it blended out on my face, I'm just going to actually pat it. what I was able to get with two and a half pumps okay so how do I feel about this foundation I love this foundation I had to let it sit for a little bit I got a little concerned about the color but I figured if I sit for a little bit it may adjust like most foundations do and this adjusted to my skin tone perfectly you really don't expect this much from a drugstore foundation. It definitely performs like a higher end one, in my opinion. The fact that it has awesome coverage, but it doesn't look like I have loads of makeup on. I do have a few acne scars peeping out, but for the most part, it covered up really good. It, it dries relatively quickly, and it has a, a matte finish, but it allows your, you know, your skin to come so you actually feels like I set my face with powder and I didn't I didn't put anything on except for the foundation I really love that it comes with a pump that's always a plus and it doesn't hurt that this foundation only cost me ten dollars foundation I normally use is the NARS sheer matte that runs me 45 hello if I had to compare this um, CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation to one of the more higher end brands it would be to the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. They have pretty much the same coverage, the same finish. Um, this, this is a all around 
I just, it's a really good foundation. I'm really liking it. It will definitely be in my kit to use from this point on. The CoverGirl 3 in 1 All Day Flawless Foundation in the Queen Collection. Make sure you guys go and try this out. And if you have any products that you would like for me to review, please leave those in my inbox and I will try my hardest to get that done for you. So until next time, I'll see you later.